All right, so one minute wisdom from the Rebbe for today. So today is Chaf Dalat Tevis, which is the Yom Ha'ilula of the Alter Rebbe, the day the Alter Rebbe left this physical world. Now, if you want to know what a day of Ilula means, you have to look what Alter Rebbe himself explains. As Alter Rebbe explains in Tanya and Igeres Chaf, the famous letter about what the idea of a tzaddik leaving is that the day that he passes away is a day where he leaves his energy throughout the entire world, and anyone who's connected to his ideas is able to connect with him in a very strong way. And that's also the idea of Chaf Dalat Tevis. This is a time to connect with Alter Rebbe, to focus on the things that he focused on the most, to connect with him in a very deep way and through that you're able to accomplish so much more than ever before. And the ideas of the Alter Rebbe, if you want to know who he is, we have to look at what we were told about him. Obviously, who are we to be able to say that this exactly is Alter Rebbe's idea, but at least one thing we can take from him. And there are two ideas which we're going to speak about here. One thing is the Mittler Rebbe. The Mittler Rebbe explained that his father was all about making Bali Tshuva. The Alter Rebbe was all about taking someone who's on the outside and bringing him in. And that's also something that we have to add in on this day. Taking the parts of ourselves as well as other people who are currently outside and bringing them in, bringing them closer to be able to serve Hashem and do his Taita. The second idea that we could take from him is the idea of his name. As the altar of his name is Shnei Ur, two lights. And this idea is the idea of the light of Chassidus and the light of Nigla. You have to be able to have both of them. That the Nigla has to be learned properly as well as the Chassidus has to be learned properly. Now that doesn't only mean that they have to be two separate things, but rather they join together as one word, where there's no even letter separated between them. The light of Nigla and light of Chassidus have to light each other up. Now when a person is learning Nigla, it has to be recognized that he's somebody who already learned Chassidus. When he learns Chassidus, it has to be recognized that he's somebody who learned Nigla. Even though you might ask, seemingly we start learning Nigla many years before we learn Chassidus. How do you expect from a little kid who's just starting to learn Nigla to be able to know about Chassidus if he didn't learn it yet? And the answer is that we see that the Friedrich Rebbe spoke that when he started learning the letters of the Aleph base, he learned it from a Tanya. Even though he didn't know what Tanya was yet, and he didn't understand all of these things. But his Rebbe told him there's someone called Hashem, and there's something called his Torah of Chassidus. And we understand that through learning Chassidus. So when you open a Tanya, you start showing the Aleph base from there, that already makes a big impact on the kid that he knows that he's going to grow up to be someone who learns Chassidus and to have a connection with Hashem in a very, very deep and real way. So through adding in these things, especially on this day, making Achlotus about learning Nigla and learning Chassidus, that we connect with the Rebbe in a very strong way, when you have extra strength to be able to actually accomplish everything that he wanted from us, we should follow in his ways until we be able to see him again here in a physical body, may it be today. L'chaim, l'chaim.